Welcome back, everybody. Came back to 48 minutes past the hour. We're learning more about the man who killed at least 26 people out of Texas church. Devin Kelly has a history of violence. In 2012, while in the Air Force, he was sentenced to 12 months in a military jail for assaulting his first wife and son. Recently, Kelly had been sending threatening messages to his mother-in-law. A source tells CNN his final text to her was sent just before the shooting on Sunday morning. Well, joining us now, Brian Claypool, a criminal defense attorney. He was also a witness at last month's mass shooting in Las Vegas. And Brian, it's good to see you. Nice seeing you, John. Okay, put your lawyer hat on right now. Explain how these background checks failed, um, how there was no way the FBI system and the background check system could have actually stopped him from buying these guns, even though he wasn't meant to have them, as opposed to the Vegas shooter who managed to buy 40 firearms or so, um, all legally over a period of years. Well, Devin Kelly was convicted of, of a crime uh, in which he served, he was, he was supposed to serve 18 months. So the federal law says that if you're convicted of a domestic violence crime and you serve at least 12 months, uh, then, then the federal, here the Air Force should have immediately then reported that to the federal database. And they, they didn't do that. And that's why during the background check, uh, he didn't come up. So it was just that one thing that, that failed to work, and the whole thing just collapses. Right, but 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 John, come on, let's call a spade a spade. Yeah. This guy, this, Kelly's no choir boy. Right. I mean, this guy. Let let let's talk about that for a second. Mm. He he pointed a gun at his wife twice. He he fractured a skull of a of a stepson. A little boy. Uh, yeah. yeah of, 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 of his yeah. of his little boy. He uh, he almost killed an animal. This guy had a propensity and a pattern of doing violent things that the U.S. Air Force was well aware of. So why were, were the folks with the U.S. Air Force so casual and flippant about not reporting this to, uh, to the civilian officials mm -hmm. to make sure that, that he, he, he was caught? What do you make of this sort of um, Republican argument that this guy was determined to get a gun even if he had failed a background check, he would have, he would have found one anyway? Yeah, well, that, that's the most pathetic argument I've ever heard because I was in Las Vegas mm -hmm. And, 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 and felt bullets hitting the metal not far from my head and almost never saw my daughter again. So to hear that and to hear President Trump say, oh, this is not a gun issue and all the haters out there are like, well, he, Kelly could have gotten a gun anyway. That's not the point. The point is we are glorifying violence in the United States, John. It's become casual. It's become okay if it's a lone wolf. And, and everybody says, well, yeah, they can get a gun anyway. That's not the point. Make it harder. Mm. Make it more difficult for somebody like Paddock to get 40 guns in Vegas and Kelly, who's, who's uh, mentally ill and, and, and a violent person, to get a gun. That's the point. Make it more difficult. Just very quickly, listen to the majority Senate leader, Republican Mitch McConnell, talking about this issue. You know, it's, it's hard to um, envision a foolproof way to prevent individual outrages by evil people. I mean, last week in New York, you had a person who figured out he could kill people by driving his automobile up on the sidewalk. Yeah, we're almost out of time, but that, that argument to me sounds like, well, people still commit murder, therefore those murder laws aren't working, therefore we should get rid of all those murder laws. Well, sort of thing. Yeah. Here's what I would tell Mitch McConnell and President Trump. Take a look at the website for the Ruger 556. Go on the website. I went on the website before I came on this show. And you tell me, Mitch McConnell, whether that 556 rifle should ever be sold to, a, to an average citizen on the street. It's not a sporting rifle as they describe it. It shoots 90 rounds a, a, 90 rounds a, a, a minute, okay? So d d does the average person on the street need access to a rifle like that? That's the issue. Yeah. We can do something about that. Yeah, all of this is sort of against, you know, the, the, what is the established gun culture in this country. You get a gun, you go hunting, you learn how to use it properly. That's not what's happening with these shootings. But, Brian, uh, it, it's good to see you. Yeah, Thank you. Nice Appreciate you your opinion. Yeah, thanks. Okay, with